<laughs> All right. <laughs> we are live at Creativation with Heidi Swap. Hey guys. I'm so excited that you came yeah, by. Yeah, we had Alaskan Sam. I need to do a live on my Facebook page so that I can show people that I can keep not getting to do it. And so I'm, I'm going to hijack this live. Right, Jen? So, so we're going we're gonna to do it and there's a lot of really, I don't know which one I'm going to be at. Like, it's fine. Like, I'm just going to, I'm just like, I'm walking the crowd. Okay. We're live with Heidi. So, um, where to start? First of all, I want to talk, so we're back here kind of in the main demoing station, and it's interesting because you guys, a lot of people that come here don't know what the main is, which kind of freaks us out and makes us feel insecure about our job. Like, we're not going to get our job. But what is, you guys, this is a main our fifth year, going into our fifth year with me, and it's a foil application machine. What that means is that when you print something out on a nice smooth piece of cardstock with a laser printer, that the foil will adhere to what's been printed. Okay, so that's the basic nuts and bolts. So I'm just going to show you, like super basic, and I'm I'm actually going to use. It's been requested. Yes, thank that you. I use the new leopard foil. Ooh. Now I will show you that this leopard isn't just leopard. It's also kind of got a little rainbowy holographic vibe to it, cool. which is really cool and unique and will look fabulous on cards. It just oh, not bigger, not bigger, not bigger. Can you cut me a little bit Okay. You have to make sure that every every bit of what you're foiling is covered. Otherwise, the toner on here will transfer right onto your, this will yep. this transfer folder. We'll transfer onto that. Now, usually when you buy the transfer folders, they're, they're bigger. This one's been cut down so that it will go faster as we're demoing here at the show. So don't be, also, if you're a card maker, don't be afraid to cut your transfer folder down to the size that you use the most. That will save you time because it takes a second to go through. All right. The next thing that I want to show you is that we have some new mink papers. This is a mink paper pad. And this is craft vellum and white cardstock. And you're, you're not going to be able to see it because you kind of have to be up close and personal. But when you feel it, you can feel that it's been printed with a clear glue. Okay? So all the patterns are, are right here on the front. They're super basic patterns that you would use over and over all the time on any kind of project. But I want you to I want you to feel this. So feel just you guys tell them that that's the vellum. It's, it's super so thick. Thick. It's thick and it's yes. and, and you like, can still see through it. That was like kind of that was kind of a big deal to me. Okay, so hold that thought. I'm going to show you how this looks. So we'll take it out of the folder and here the reveal's the best. <gasps> there we go. Oh, oh my god. So cool. Okay. I love it. So cute, right? And so this has just kind of a funky shine that goes oh. with it along with that leopardy vibe. And so you can see like that even if you're only ever foiling something that you print out like worth it, right? Yes. But there's but there's more. <laughs> Is it, I feel like an impression. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so hang on Look that. at that. Oh, so, I love I'm it. I'm to show you, and I'm kind of on a try to so show. Cute. And I can see what this one is, so I'm going to show you from this one. You might be able to see it too. Can you guys see that image yes. that's on there? Yep. So yep. we have printed on here with glue. And I'm actually, I can just use this leopard one more time. So this is big enough for this piece. And I'm going to go ahead and run that through again. While we're waiting, I'm going to show you another trick right here. So this is just kind of a regular card that I might want to, you might want to add something to. So we've got these two new glue pens. This is, this is a Heidi Swap glue pen. That's what makes it special. <laughs> of course. It's just a good pen, okay? So let's just say that I'm going to draw a heart. There's two different tip sizes. Does that mean I can write as good as you do with? Yes. If I have the Heidi Swap pen, and it comes with your your writing <laughs> yes. style. If yes. Want into <laughs> your speed. We all wish we could um, write like Heidi. Awesome. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna let it dry. See, Once yes. it's transparent and you can kind of touch it and it's tacky, then it's ready. 
but we're gonna revert back here to this. This is that little vellum piece that we put through. And now uh, you can see oh, super so cute. cute. fun little message. So automatically this is ready for a card or scrap a page project, ready to go. So, and it has that cool vellum inside. So it's Yes. It's not tacky. Not tacky. The, the machine actually melts that glue oh, so it's used to it's dry. Dry. Yes. Okay, so now, I need, I think I need a little bit bigger of a folder, a transfer folder. And we're going to, um, okay, I'm going to show you one little trick that you should know. Alright, now, if you don't have a, a meat, first of all, you need one, but yes. <laughs> I'm going to show you, I'm just going to tap on this. This oh. will transfer without the mink, okay? You will need to like apply some pressure. Oh and wow, I never knew that. Using a glue pen, okay? I never so knew. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I will tell you that it works a little bit better if you use the mink, like you're gonna get a little bit better of an image transfer, but I think that if you haven't got a mink and you really want to add foil effects, it is possible. So this is what I mean, like um, the mink will press it down harder and so you probably won't get the skipping that you might if you don't have a mink. But you can still really add full foil effects with just the glue pants. Okay. Now, yes. The next thing that I want to show you guys is these these for a little while. This was like the Hawthorne collection. Mm -hmm. There's other companies, not just me, that makes these. This is a double-sided adhesive alphabet. We also have them in words. But what I wanted to show you is that when you pull off the front, this little front piece, now it's sticky, okay? I can totally... Jen's like, scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> Can add foil without using the mink. So watch this, and I'm just going to put it on part of it because I have something else I want to show you. You just press it right on, and then lift it up, and it foils it perfectly. Wow! But we have these cool new glitter sheets. Kind of got to be cautious with them because they're glitter, and I can press this right onto the glitter sheet, and I'm applying a little bit of pressure. And Ooh. it glitters that awesome. perfectly, right? And it doesn't oh, come off because it actually sticks on there and covers all the adhesive. So that's a really fun thing. But I'm going to pop this machine up to a five, and I want to show you how the glitter looks on here. Is this, this one small enough? Is this best? Okay. Mm. okay. So this is one of the white pieces of cardstock from that paper pad that I just showed you, and. You'll, like, with my spidey senses, I can tell that it's a polka dot. You have to look really, really close, right? It's hard to see. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this. I think I could put it in my glasses. I want to use a small transfer folder here, so it'll go a little bit faster. So, this, say that again? Yes, yes, yes. So massive amounts of glitter here on the top. Now let me touch it. See, look, this glitter moves. This is, <gasps> oh, okay. This okay. is some kind of bomb. <laughs> yes, that's, all that's, right. That's, that's just me being honest. Yeah. <laughs> Jen does not like that, right? I, <laughs> so you do not handle it on this part, okay? It so moves. You have this edge around it. That's how you handle it on the edge. And the glitter that's that's... The glitter bomb surface <laughs> actually goes down on the part of the paper that has the, the adhesive printing. Okay? I'm going to send it through. Noted that I've put it up to the five. So gotcha. what we're really doing is we're melting the glue that's been printed on the surface and we're every day jamming it in jamming there. Jamming the glitter <laughs> into it. That's the process that's happening. Um, and then you need this little glitter brush, and I'll show you that. In awesome. Just a second. So, this glue that's happening here is actually printed Oops, on the paper. Sorry. So, can you see those little stars when you look in the light? Okay. So, that's, been, that's, that's what's in the paper pad. Actually, right, right here. Yeah, so you can kind of look at the All right, here we go. So, um, so 
so when I lift it off, and again, it's still a glitter bomb, so you gotta kind of be careful, handle it. Ooh, oh, nice. Okay, but this glitter is, woo, it's in it's, there. It's in there. And now you can add that glitter to your project. It's really cool. Gorgeous. Very, 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 very cool. And it doesn't, like, Jen even can touch it. <laughs> it's solid, right? So that's exciting. This part she doesn't really like. No. Um, okay, so there's one more thing, you guys, that I want to show you, and it actually doesn't have anything to do with me. So we're going to switch um, gears here, and I want to show you this. Um, okay, so this is with the color fresh. Oh, I was looking at this yesterday. Fresh. Yes. So in this little kit, oh, look at this, my assistant. <laughs> this is what the kit looks like. It's got the, the glass pen. And the two inks. I'm gonna let my studio audience take a look at that. <laughs> look at that. Okay. So this is glass. So when you, if you drop this on the floor, it will shatter into a thousand pieces, and you will never be able to use it again. So just be careful. Like hold it carefully. Um, and it comes with these two inks. This is water soluble ink. So you can go ahead and spill it, and you can clean it up. So that's awesome. exciting. It does have this little stopper. I recommend that you use the stopper. I don't know what could happen. <laughs> All right. Now, when you dip the pen in, the ink wicks up into these grooves, oh, creating yeah. its own little reservoir, which actually kind of goes for a long time. Kind of got a lot on the end. So you can see it. if you flick it hard, it comes out, but it actually is holding it pretty good up in those reservoirs. And this is just a fine tip pen, um, so you just write as usual. Heidi is a jink lover, I'm going to put. <laughs> and it just, you just write normal. So you can do your journaling, you don't have to like have any special skills or abilities wow. or That's anything cute. in order to do it. So Very cool. So those people who love that so process of classic and, and yeah. using, like this is for everyone. And it's really fun and quite satisfying. So, anyway, I this is probably my and that's the best color ever. Second so. or third favorite thing. This show. <laughs> yeah. So you could probably do a calligraphy with that yeah. as well, you, you, a little bit. It doesn't it, have the, the nib. Pins, and yeah. So that's kind of you'd have to manually. Yeah. yeah. You would manually be making. So, but what I love is just anybody could use it. And we all know that handwriting is so important. And so if, if something is fun and it's kind of inspiring you to write, get it. You know? yeah. Plus, um, it will look really cute on your desk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if all else. Right? Yeah. If all else fails, it looks good. Yep. All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming. And thank, thank you, for Heidi. Thank you. For filming this Facebook Live that we can share. Yes. <laughs> and share and share. Yes. I love you. Love you. Thanks, thank guys. you. Thanks for watching.